Hello everyone. I have another box here today, surprisingly, and it's from Lego. And it looks like it's the Millennium Falcon V29. Well, I do have some Lego, but uh, I'm not really into Star Wars. So I don't think this is Lego. I have a feeling and I'm hoping that this is going to be Hoover Dirt Searcher Jr. And an exclusive model. I've shown you an exclusive Hoover Dirt Searcher from this era on my channel. I think that one was exclusive to co-op stores. I have a feeling that the one I'm about to open, if I can get it open, I have a feeling this one was exclusive to electricity board showrooms. Right, let's have a look. The old faithful Hoover Junior. Many, many homes had a Hoover Junior back in the day. And the shape I'm about to reveal to you was the last proper Hoover Junior, sh you know. There were others called Junior, but this is the proper sort of soft bag on the side Hoover Junior. And this shape came out at first with the uh, U1036, the mustard colored Hoover Junior when it had a restyle and I have one of those. I've shown you that on my channel. Okay, oh, crikey. Never gets any easier, this unboxing lark. Right. Here's someone who knows that a Hoover Junior can be dismantled for uh, packing, although they haven't taken off the bag. So here we have, in ooh, pretty nice condition, a handle. Ooh, well, it doesn't quite match. Mm. <laughs> oh yes, because this is a deluxe cleaner, because this is a dirt searcher, we have a deluxe feature, which is the quick release cord storage. What a boon for the busy housewife of the late 70s, early 80s. I'll have to date this machine when I get it open. So there we go. And this little spring is the bag support Dubri. Of course, it's got a handle. It's complete with its end cap. Sometimes they go missing. So, so far, so good. Lovely, lovely colours that. Now, we also have, oh, well, I see we're missing. We're missing the old uh, bag retaining rubber ring but incidentally it's about the same probably is the same as a round belt hoover junior this is a uh, flat belt hoover junior but the previous juniors used a round belt and they're just about fit i'll have some of those definitely in my collection in fact i opened a much older brown dirt searcher another probably another exclusive could have been and that came with tons and tons of belts do you remember that video I hit the jackpot with that. Belts and bags galore. Right. We have the lower handle still attached to the, the beige cord. And we have the cleaner itself. Looks in fairly good shape. Hmm. Let's just check the packaging. Nice, useful packaging. I can use that again. Oh, while I remember, please follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Just type in iBasic and you'll find my Instagram and Facebook pages where I often give you little exclusive sneak peeks and behind the scenes pictures. Yes. Right, not too bad at all. Okay, well, I'm going to assemble this Hoover Junior. Try and find a bag for it. And also, I need to find a rubber ring to hold the black bag in place. Right, I'll be back in a, in a very short while, folks. So, hold on to your hats. Well, folks, I've worked a bit of my magic on this Hoover Dirt Searcher Junior and uh, she's a little bit shinier than she was when I opened her. I haven't done a huge amount. Look at that shine. 
I've not looked into the motor. This I've just basically got my wet wet wipes out, got the worst off, tea cut, and then some polish. It's amazing what you can do in 20 minutes to half an hour. Very nice, very good condition. I've looked at the belt, the belt will need changing. And the headlight bulb obviously has gone. Right, so that's the worst of it. New brushes I expect would help. New bulb, new belt. And I'm going to fit, of course, a bag because there's no bag. I had trouble with zip. It was sticking. I've got some dry lube spray that's uh, fortunately not marked for bag because I, I tried to keep it on the zip, but some of it went over. But I think that's it, it's worked. So I've got the old uh, bag support tube, but we're missing the bag retainer, aren't we? And I found it, folks. Look, I found it. It was at the bottom of the bag completely perished and in bits. So we'll throw that away. And as luck would have it, and not in the garage where I can't get to it, but it was upstairs in my bedroom in a box, I found this genuine Hoover bag retaining ring. I think it's the bag retaining ring because it's gray, as was the one I've just shown you in bits. If you want to order one of these, it's uh, number 618175 if you can get one but as i said a, a normal hoover round belt from a junior cleaner should suffice but it's nice to have a proper gray one which i think this cleaner would have been would have been gray now so, so new it's going to be a bit tricky to get on ah, there we are oops push it back up and we can whoops there's one thing missing as well. There should be inside the bag a little, I think they called them document ties or something. Things you'd hold papers together once you've punched holes in them. So that's missing. So that would normally hold up and not drop down. So again, I found this, this upstairs, didn't have to search. A genuine H1 Hoover bag fitting a lot of different Hoover cleaners as you can see here. We've got the Ranger, Senior, Standard Junior and an older Dirt Searcher. Single layer paper. So they will clog up pretty quick. And you'll notice on these is a circle and that should correspond. Well, there is a circle at the bottom of the bottom of the bellows. But anyway, I think it uh, can't see the circle on the actual top of the bag. Oh, it's at the front there, just about. Anyway, let's just fit the bag. I have fitted Sebo uh, BS36 bags to a junior after cutting the tops off, but they're, they're quite hard to fit because they're a fleece bag and uh, it's hard to get the bag retaining ring or band over it. It's pretty tricky now because, as I say, it's a brand new it's a brand new band, but there we go. And that's fitted. So we can pop, I think that needs to turn around a bit. There we go, that's it. We can pop the uh, bag in, tuck it in like so, and do up the zip. Bit of thread there, right. For some reason there are two holes. The seller said there were two holes in the bag, but they're not holes caused by a mouse or something nibbling at them. They look like they're two very round holes. You can see one there. There's another one just at the top, so I'm not bothered about that. If a mouse had got to these, it would have been completely ruined as I found out when I took my garden furniture cushions out. Some mice had made a nest and ruined them all. Never mind. I'll keep them indoors next time, the replacements. Right, so we've got the bag fitted. Look how old fashioned that looks. And I believe this is an 80s cleaner. I did take a peek at the serial number and I'll be sharing you, sharing that with you in a minute. 
So here's the Dirt Searcher Junior. We've got the height control here on the side. At the moment it's on the highest setting for long pile carpets. If you tilt the cleaner back, you can move it to medium. And then you've got, oops, short pile carpet. And then the lowest setting for very short pile or carpet tiles. But I'm gonna pop it back onto the highest setting so that just raises the wheels in theory it should yes that's on the lowest setting just about see there look focus there we go bit of oh missed a bit of dirt there on the other side we've got the combined on off and handle release pedal so a light touch releases the handle to the operating position touch it again and the handle lowers for cleaning under low furniture and then press it again a bit harder and you'll switch the cleaner on and off as I showed you earlier being a deluxe cleaner we've got the quick release cord hook but we'll leave it up for now and on the other side another little bit of extra trim that you only got with the deluxe or dirt searcher versions we've got this uh, bag topper here in plastic and I'm pleased to see that this little loop be careful with it though that's intact the uh, exclusive junior the cream and brown one I've got which I think is a co-op exclusive that was broken and it was held together with a paper clip I think so great to see that also great to see once I get it back on, great to see the Hoover Roundel intact in a nice contrasting orange colour. Here we have the underside of the Dirt Searcher looking fairly tidy. Obviously I've given it a bit of a wipe, just had some light dust, but I've not uncovered the motor so I'll do that now. There's two screws, or is it? No, it's four I think now. Yes, I think it's four screws now on the later juniors to remove the motor cover and I suspect there will be a build-up of fluff inside here and also I expect we've got the dreaded suppressor so while I'm here we can just see here the rating sticker so as I'm unscrewing I will read it out to you so this is Hoover model U1108 Serial U1108 207-00300 240 volts 50 hertz 300 watts made in UK by Hoover Limited So if I remember correctly We've got the model number U1108 followed by a 2 which denotes the year And we know it's not 72 And we know it's not 92 So this model it's from 1982 so this is an early 80s cleaner one of my favorites I think it is not one of I think it's my favorite decade for well not just vacuum cleaners <laughs> my favorite decade to be alive yes I'm that old I I remember the 1980s quite well the clothes the music and of course the vacuums so there's four screws They've also made it easier to assemble by incorporating the back wheels in the motor cover, unlike earlier models. Uh, haven't unscrewed enough, nearly. And yes, as I thought, under here is a little bit dusty, and it's not, it's not too bad. Mm, I wonder if the suppressor's been removed from this. Or are they hiding on this model? Here we have a build-up of fluff. And I believe some of these cleaners failed. Ooh, it's, I think that's old Christmas tree in there from many years ago. Old pine needles. Some of these failed because sometimes a pin or maybe a paper clip or something could get manage to get its way underneath and short some of these terminals. So yeah, 
That's pretty standard for the inside of a Hoover Junior. Right, we'll just uh, have a very brief wipe with my uh, lemon scented wet wipes. No idea what this motor is going to sound like. They tend to sound okay normally, Uber Juniors, but judging by the overall good condition of the outer body of this cleaner, I'm hoping that the motor will sound okay. I'm not sure where the suppressor is. The, the suppressors on the older juniors were very noticeable when you took the cover off those big silver coloured metal suppressors, suppressors that can go bang and start smoking. I'm not sure where they are on the later juniors I'm sure that must have had one but it is possible that it's been removed on this machine unless it's out of sight I'd only know when I take the motor out because this might have gone in for a service because believe it or not folks people used to take their vacuum cleaners in for a service or a repair didn't throw them away the minute they stopped sucking like a lot of people do these days and I know a lot of collectors and people in business they find vacuum cleaners dumped and all that's wrong with them is the filters need cleaning and then they work again often problems with vacuums can be pretty minor just people are so lazy they're just any excuse to buy a new one although I don't need excuses to buy vacuum cleaners do I obviously I don't but uh, I don't buy much more with my money I don't drink and I don't smoke so I've got to spend my money on something haven't I there we go that's a little bit better we'll not see it obviously but just my own peace of mind I just like to give it a bit of a wipe so when I do come to properly refurbish this I'll know that it's uh, clean anyway. This is called a flash pad, I believe. I'm not sure what they're for. It's obviously, I think it's just, it seals this part, you know, where the electrical helps to seal it, but obviously we could see, it doesn't seal it very well because a lot of fluff was in that area. These often perish, especially on the older models. You can fit something to fit, you know, a replacement, but you'd never get the originals. Long obsolete. That'll do. It's very slightly damp, but by the time the switch is clean on, it'll be fine. Well, saying that, it's going right up against the electrical components. So I will leave it for a moment. Have a bit more of a wipe. I love the Hoover Junior, you know, it's a very simple machine. Uh, it's no bells and whistles, it just does the job of cleaning carpets. And I specify carpets, not so good on hard floors with the metal beater bars. And when you fit the cleaning tools for this, pretty poor suction. This version of Junior has a pan converter that fits over the agitator unlike the earlier ones where you'd pulled the front cover off. Even on the earlier dirt searchers with the headlight, you'd pull the cover off 
and uh, insert the ingenious adapter that not only converted it to use of the hose, it also lifted the belt off the spindle so the brushes didn't rotate. Okay, that'll do. Let's get the uh, cover back on. That's it. So we've got two screws here. These are the regular screws you'd expect to undo on a junior. But as I said, the later versions, we've got two others to undo as well. I've been watching a lot of classic 1980s Coronation Street. If, if you want to see it, they're all on YouTube. And of course, I like to spot the vacuum cleaners and they did their fair fair share of lending the same cleaner out, thinking that the viewer wouldn't notice, but I notice. I notice that Deirdre Barlow and Rita Fairclough have the same vacuum, an Electrolux 170. And there were several versions of Hoover Junior being used on the street as well. In fact, the Hoover Juniors sounded pretty bad. They all needed servicing by the sounds of the motors. When I like spotting vacuums on old shows, I'm sure you do. If you're still watching this, you're obviously interested in vacuums. If you've not gone to sleep yet or started watching something else, you're if you're still with me, you're clearly interested in vacuums. You might be interested specifically in 1980s vacuums. That's right. There we go. Right then. All that remains to be done is to see if this cleaner works. I didn't show you the agitator, but it's a standard metal agitator with Hoover's beats as it sweeps, as it cleans action. And this being a later version, we've got the plastic base plate here. It was metal on the earlier versions, starting with the U1036. But it does its job. Just makes it a little bit lighter. Right then. Let's hope this Hoover Junior sounds as good as it looks. Okay, let's release the cable. Now, this cleaner might turn on, actually, when I plug it in. Because I've been pressing on the pressing the on off button. Okay. Oh, here's I don't know if you're interested. Here's the plug. I think it's a Volex, but it's branded Electra, which was the uh, brand name of appliances sold, well, sold exclusively at the electricity board showrooms. It was their own brand. So, as I said, I think this is an electricity board exclusive. Comment below if I'm correct or if I'm not, but I think I am. But uh, I don't mind being corrected. Right, here goes. Wow, nothing at all wrong with the motor on this it sounds very nice even on its high setting i could hear the agitator stalling it's because it needs a new belt and uh yeah i should have really well like, <laughs> if you saw my garage you'd understand why i haven't been able to dig out a new belt i've got boxes and boxes of spare parts but there's <laughs> there's a lot of boxes in front of those i mean i'm working my way through it slowly selling vacuums on uh, eBay as well to make room. But this certainly is not a machine I'll be selling. None of the classic 80s cleaners I am planning to get rid of. Most of the 70s ones, if they're Hoover or Electrolux, most of them I'll be keeping. Well, it might work better if I give it a bit of a push.
Well, I'm absolutely thrilled with this Hoover Dirt Searcher. I'm glad I placed a bid and I'm glad I won the auction because, well, <laughs> she looks a lot better than the pictures and that motor sounds fine. There's no need for me to remove that motor and strip it down if the motor sounds as good as that does and that motor sounds good sounds as it should do it sounds like it would have sounded i expect when it was new there's no point in messing about with things if they don't need it obviously cleaners that the motors sound like they're going to explode and they're struggling they need attention but this one in my view and my ears say don't touch it so all i'm going to do with this lovely cleaner it's fit a headlight bulb and incidentally this takes the same bulb as the Turbo Power One and Turbo Master cleaners and I think the same bulb as a Kirby as well. But it's just a small round bulb, I know the Kirby bulbs are a little bit longer but uh, it's just a push fit bulb, you can still buy them. So it'll look a lot nicer with the headlight, obviously new belt, I might even treat this cleaner to a new pair of brushes as well but apart from that absolutely chuffed to little mint balls with his 1982 hoover dirt searcher beautiful little cleaner if you have any comments or questions about this vacuum cleaner please comment below don't forget to thumb up and subscribe and i'll see you all very soon for the next video thanks for watching and bye for now